First Components Chainring CNC Processing Workshop has three CNC machines and many more cutters. Every chainring is initially cut from an aluminum blank, a bit bigger than the circumference of the finished chainring. The teeth have already been cut in this batch of narrow wide chainrings. This CNC session will cut the narrow wide profile into each tooth, doing one side at a time. The first thing is to mount four chainrings onto four blocks, then bolt them firmly into position. We're doing this processing with the doors open rather than closed so we can film the event. This is possible since there's minimal fluid in this process unlike most other CNC cutting sequences. The left door is closed here. Normally the right would be closed as well. So with the chain rings firmly bolted down we are ready to roll. Cutter machines from right to left. The tool bit is cutting the narrow wide profile into each tooth. The numbers controlling the whole process. Blowing off excess detritus. The next sequence cuts the groove at the base of each tooth. The cutting complete, we can clean and remove. Just about any design customers can think of is possible. Here's an 80 tooth chain ring which can fit different crank spiders. From chain rings to square taper spindles and cartridge bottom brackets. We'll take this blank and turn it into this spindle ready for installation. The hydraulic press does it all in one motion. After a little fine tuning, we're ready to go. Let's see that again in slow mo. We carry out periodical checks on batch samples to make sure all dimensions are within the prescribed tolerances, here making sure the crank to spindle fit is spot on. Checking the spindle is straight, simulating its motion in the BB bearings. Spindles done, it's a matter of pressing the bearings, BB body and spindle together to create the cartridge bottom bracket. The operator loosely assembles the components in the press, then locks everything together in one movement. Cartridge bottom brackets are spot selected for rigorous testing of a minimum of 100,000 repetitions over 30 hours. 180 kilogram force is applied to each side. All test results are recorded, printed and made available for customer inspection.
If you found this video useful or interesting, hit the subscribe button and bell notification for more content like this. Thanks for watching.